So what's happening YouTube? We are on to review number 24 and today we are playing Rambo. I actually played this game quite a bit when I was younger and it's one of the games that I originally had for quite a while in my collection. I didn't actually buy this one off eBay recently. I kind of have mixed feelings about this game. I mean it's not the greatest, but I don't think it's the worst either. I enjoy the music and I think it's fairly fun to play, but the controls are really stiff and I don't really appreciate that too much. And you can get lost pretty easily, but it's one of those once you memorize where to go games, you can figure things out pretty quick. Uh, you don't need the manual or the internet to really play this game, it's just a matter of kind of figuring out what to do and where to go. And the game has a password system, so if you if you die or need to resume from somewhere, you can easily do that. But I definitely had to dock this game on graphics for one simple fact. Rambo doesn't look like Rambo. Like, I don't know the last time you saw Rambo wearing red spandex, but I don't ever remember that happening in the movie. But if we take a look at the back of the box to see if the game's description is deceiving or if it's true... Freedom is everything. You are Rambo. Fallen hero, once a decorated Green Beret, special weapons expert, master of the martial arts, now you're living in solitary, a prisoner of the government you swore to defend. Intelligence sources believe they have discovered a hidden POW camp in the jungle. Your brothers in arms have been enslaved there for years. It's your choice. Accept the suicide mission to find the camp, or spend the rest of your life in a 6x8 cell. Your body is a weapon. Your mind, a disciplined machine. The most advanced military hardware is at your disposal. And a chopper awaits to carry you to the drop site, where once again, you will be alone in deep, hostile territory. This is your role, Rambo. A war that will test your every skill. A war with only two possible results, freedom or death. So I, I guess that, that kind of sounds like Rambo. I mean, that's pretty accurate to what the movie's about. I didn't really feel like I was fighting for freedom or avoiding death with the music and the game isn't really that serious on itself I think. Overall I have to say as a kid I really enjoyed this game and I enjoy it now but I don't think I want to keep this one just yet so I'm going to put this one up for further review and give this game an 8.5 out of 10. So thanks for stopping by guys and I'll see you later. Bye.